This is Jeff Kubiak with Medchem. I'm going to introduce you to the Medchem automatic sludge blowdown system for the clarifier. The purpose of this is to automatically remove the sludge that's accumulating in the cone of the clarifier. At the beginning, as the clarifier is accumulating solids, we're going to be at about one and a half, two percent solids in this cone. When we get enough solids accumulated in this cone, the level is high enough, this valve will open automatically based on the time set in the control panel. It will then allow this, the solids that have accumulated then feed this diaphragm pump. The diaphragm pump then kicks on and runs for the time period set in the control panel to pump the sludge from the clarifier cone slowly to the sludge thickening tank where it then can feed the filter press. This is the control panel for the sludge blowdown system. This is one timer that times both the time that the clarifier is in use and it times the amount of time that the diaphragm pump is pumping sludge out. These are all user set. We'll talk about those uh, parameters in a moment. Right now they're set to something very short so we can watch it happen in real time. In reality, you may want the clarifier to accumulate sludge for 20 minutes, an hour, whatever your process mandates. Once you've established that, you set the timers appropriately. Once you've accumulated enough sludge, the sludge pump, the diaphragm pump, will pump that thickened sludge, at, again, at about 1.5% solids, to the sludge thickening tank. That may take 10 seconds, 10 minutes. Again, you set the time however long it takes to clear out the cone, but not completely. You want to leave a little bit of sludge in the bottom of the cone to help attract the next batch of sludge. Sludge helps attract sludge. In the field, this control panel will be controlling the amount of time the clarifier is accumulating the solids in the cone. Right now we have it set to 30 seconds so we can illustrate how it works. In reality, this will probably be set to 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you feel is appropriate. So in the field, we're going to put the control panel to auto and we're waiting for a signal from the main system to start. In the field, there's going to be a pump upstream near the, before the equalization tank feeding the uh, pH 1, pH 2, the flow doesn't move until that pump is on. Well, we want to know when that pump is on. Right now I have a simulated switch that'll pretend that the system is on. So I've turned it on. You can see that the timer is now counting down to 30 seconds. Again, in reality, it'll be, probably be 20 minutes. Once that time's out, it'll open the sludge valve and then turn on the pump. The valve is open and the pump is on. Starting the cycle again, I'm putting it to auto, waiting for the signal. I'm simulating the signal from the upstream pump. I've just turned that on, we're counting down the cycle. If for whatever reason the cycle is interrupted, the timer stops. We've already run 10 seconds. Well, it could have been 15 minutes. We don't want to overflow the cone of the, of the clarifier, so we maintain the time until the system is back online and counts down where it left off. So I've turned it back on, the countdown resumes. Again, that can happen anywhere in the cycle. Now we're at 10 seconds. For whatever reason, the system has stopped, they shut the pump off, or they shut the control to the pump off. We monitor that, we stop timing. The system is back online, we're, we're timing. Again, we time out to open the sludge valve and then turn the pump on. The pump is running for its duration, it shuts off, the cycle begins again. We start timing, we've removed the sludge we feel is appropriate, the timer starts again to the next cycle. Again, we're about to turn uh, the valve on. The valve is open, the pump is running. Hitting the P button shows us how long the pump is gonna run, in this case, 10 seconds, and it stops. We're now counting the 30 seconds again. Hit the P button again, and it shows us the accumulated number of cycles we've run since we've turned the system on. We've just completed 11 cycles. Once the timer runs out again, we're gonna open the valve, turn the pump on, 
and it will show 12 once the pump stops running. We've just begun the 12th cycle. And we've, we've completed the 12th cycle. We've completed 12 cycles. The system is in the off position. Nothing happens in the off position. And we just told you that when you start the cycle, you put it in auto, it's waiting from the signal from the main system to start. Should you need to operate the system and purge the cone independent of the automatic system, we can put it in a hand. That begins the cycle. It opens the valve, there's a pause, and then it turns the pump on. Now this will run for as long as the system is in hand. Once you've completed the task of emptying the system or lowering the level in the clarifier, you can shut it back off. When you're ready to go back in automatic mode, simply put it in auto. To change the times, you display the, the timer you want to change. In other words, you'll know based on the, the operation which one is which. This is the counter, we're going to leave that alone. But here's the main timer for sludge accumulation. Each one of these four digits represents, will change the number of the set point. You want to go to 31 seconds? Well, actually it counts down, 39, 38. There's 31 seconds. But in reality, I'm probably going to want 20 minutes. So I'm going to count down to 20. So there's 20 minutes, 31 seconds. And when I hit the start, it automatically starts to that time and counts down. I'm going to stop it. And it displays, it's ready to count down from the new set point. Same thing with the pump on timer. If I want to change that from 10 to say 20 seconds, make that a 20, that 9, because I was at the uh, end of the cycle, it went to 9. So now I'm at 20. And then once it starts that cycle, it'll, it'll um, display the actual new set point. These two regulators control the diaphragm pump and this one to the shutoff squeeze valve. When we're running, this regulator will control the speed at which the pump pumps out of the clarifier. Again, we want to pump out slowly. We don't want to pump faster than the sludge can fall in the cone. Otherwise, we'll pull through the sludge and pull clean water out of the clarifier. We want to gently pull the sludge out of the cone, not clean water. So when this is running, this one controls the squeeze on the, on the, red, on the red valve. This one controls the speed of the diaphragm pump. You want to pump faster, you turn it up. That's too fast. We want to pump very slowly. Once it's set, lock it into position.